Hey DJ Tech Tools, it's Chris Brackley and I've been in the lab looking at the new APC range from Akai. There's three new products in the range. We've got the APC Key 25, which is a small little uh, mini APC with all the clip launch buttons, plus you've got a little mini keyboard as well for playing notes in uh, whilst you're on the move. Very compact, very portable. You've also got the APC Mini, which is again a tiny little version of the APC you've got all the faders that are still there and everything else so again very very portable very very fun to play with there's more detail about those in the written review over at djtechtools.com but for the purpose of this video I'm mainly going to focus on the APC 40 Mark II which is like the headline act here this is the big boy this is the refinement the upgrade to the original APC 40 which was a massive success for Akai you know still used to this day even like people at Subfocus are still using the APC 20 which I've got here, that's the center of his live setup. You know, these things are reliable. They've got all the functions you need for actual clip playback in Ableton Live. You've got the faders, you've got the effects and so on as well. Your device control on the APC 40 is all there and it's still all carried over to the Mark II very, very nicely. It's a little bit more compact in terms of it's a flat profile. It's a little bit narrower. It hasn't got these big wings like the old APCs used to have. And you've it's fully bus powered now as well. So there's no power supply required. Even with the APC 20, you had to have the power supply at all times. This thing just runs off your USB connection into your computer and that's it. Um, in terms of upgrades, well, you've got the RGB color pads now, whereas the previous ones had, you know, red, green, amber, and off. This now can, you can basically have any um, clip assigned to any color that you want to have. Very simply, very straightforward. Um, as with the previous one, you've got like the red box that moves around. You can go back and forth between the various different sections of your clips and scroll through and so on. You can also do it the old way, like the old APC, hold down the shift button and you can switch across two different ones that way as well. Um, the device section is pretty similar as well. You've got your device on and off. You can choose between devices on a channel. Um, just switch between them very simply and turn them on and off. So like my EQ I've got now on channel one. I'll just solo that. All feels very, you know, hands-on and intuitive. You've got your, whereas before you had your pans and your send effects were over here, another eight knobs over there. Now they're across the top of the unit. And again, very easy to use. So we can just assign which send we're gonna choose. So this is send number one or number two. I've got set to number one. That's my reverb on number one. These are all endless encoders. So there's no jumping around when you go between different parameters or whatever, it'll just, stay where it is, so I can change to send number two. Send that up there as well. That's my delay on that one. Nice clear LED lighting on it all. You know, overall, it is very much a refinement of the original APC40, but just works really, really nicely. You've got recessed clip stop buttons now, so you can't accidentally hit those in the heat of the mix. You know, they're, they're gonna keep out of your way. Just take that reverb off there. You've still got your scene launch across the side. You've got stop all clips. You can change the quantizing on the fly. So you can go hold down shift again and you can choose the amount of quantizing from none, 16th, right up to eight bars, however you want to do it. There's lots here and there's plenty here. Really, if you're performing with clips in Ableton Live, then this is could be really all you need. Um, the one thing it is missing, you know, these aren't velocity sensitive pads or anything like that. This is not a performance controller in terms of playing stuff into MIDI clips live or anything like that. Um, the Ableton push kind of covers that and the step sequencer and that sort of thing. This really is about live performance, live playback of clip based um, Ableton live sets. And that, I appreciate that purity of vision, you know, that's just what this is about. One thing I would have liked to see to make this kind of an all-in-one solution would have been an integrated sound card. Um, you know, just a simple two stereo outs, and then you could have just literally rocked up with this and a USB port, a USB cable to your laptop and you're ready, ready to roll and plug into a house mixer or something like that. But, you know, I appreciate that when it, you're talking about live setups and stuff, everyone has their own kind of choices. It just would have been nice to see that in there. I would have, I would have liked to see that from my point of view, but overall, it's all still here. You've got crossfader assigned switches, you can assign to either side of the crossfader just on the fly. You've still got a recording. You've got session recording now as well to go with Ableton Live's new session recording feature. You can nudge the tempo to keep in time with um, your own DJ set or someone else's DJ set that you're mixing into or out of. You can lock the device um, to keep that going whatever channel you're actually selected. That device control is going to stay the same regardless. 
so even if you're moving around your clips um the clip navigation is cool it's it's all just basically very very similar to the original apc 40 but in you know what is to my mind quite a nice fresh layout and the rgb pads do make a massive difference to your actual performance because you can color code everything that you want so you can do all your kicks all your um your percussion lines all one color and so on there's so many colors to choose from in ableton live and this will work with them all it's just plug and play with ableton live you just connect it up and uh, select it as a control surface and it all just comes to life and works without any mapping any problem at all you've still got user assignable knobs as well that you can assign to any function you want in the software overall it's a brilliant performance controller and if you're not looking to get into you know midi playback and playing notes in and stuff on the fly then you know this is going to be absolutely perfect for you oh again i would have liked to see the note mode from the apc 20 it wasn't on the apc 40 but you've got the note mode where you could just hit this note button there and then all of these would turn into actual playable notes um on a midi channel or something like that but you know that hasn't made its way to the apc 40 mark ii perhaps it wasn't very popular i don't know but overall yeah lovely bit of kit a great refinement of what was a real classic piece of original hardware so check out the full written review over at djtechtools.com and thank you for watching